Hello everyone and welcome to Open the Book. I wonder if you have ever hoped for something to happen but it just seemed hopeless. Like if you really hoped to get on the football team but then you hurt your leg and you couldn't play. Or maybe you were all set for a trip to see someone really special to you and you were hoping to see them but then the trip got called off. Sometimes it's hard to keep hoping when everything is going wrong and in today's story we're going to hear about things going really badly wrong. I wonder if you can imagine yourself in this story where God's people are in a city that is surrounded by another army. Everything looks hopeless. Let's hear what the Bible has to say about hope. Kat's going to open the book to the story Jeremiah buys a field. The city of Jerusalem was surrounded by the army of Babylon. The people who lived in the city were running out of water and running out of food. They were sick and dying. It was only a matter of time before the Babylonians would break down the city walls and conquer it. It looked like there was no hope. No hope at all. Jeremiah the prophet went to see King Zedekiah. Jeremiah the prophet went to see King Zedekiah. God wants you to know that he is going to let the Babylonians defeat you. You will be captured and will meet the king of Babylon face to face as his prisoner. So there is no point in trying to fight him. It was a message with no hope for the king. And it was a message that the king did not want to hear. So, he had Jeremiah locked up in prison. It looked like Jeremiah didn't have much hope either. No hope at all. So God spoke to Jeremiah again. Your cousin Hanuman will visit you and offer to sell you a field in Anathoth. Now Anathoth was only three miles from Jerusalem. What, wondered Jeremiah, was the point of buying a field in a land that would soon be conquered by a foreign army? In a land where there was no hope. No No hope hope at all. all. Sure enough, Jeremiah's cousin came to visit him and offered to sell him that piece of land. 
So, Jeremiah knew that he had really heard from God. And that's why when his people were hungry and thirsty and dying and would soon be conquered by their enemy, they knew that he had really heard from God. He had the money weighed out. Seventeen shekels in all. He signed the deed in front of witnesses in the prison. He did everything you had to do in those days when you bought property. And then Jeremiah heard from God again. Take the deeds to the land and put them in a jar made of stone. A jar that will keep them safe and last a long time. Because as bad as things look now, one day houses and vineyards and land will once again be sold in this place. And this jar will be your sign of hope. Hope, hope, hope at last, hooray! God did that, and Jeremiah did what God had told him to do. But he was still confused, so he prayed a prayer. God, he said, when your people were slaves in Egypt, you set them free and brought them to this land, but they disobeyed you. So now the Babylonians will conquer them and they will be slaves once more. But still, you tell me to buy a piece of land here. Why? Because nothing is too hard for me. Things may look hopeless now, but one day, I will bring them back to this land and I will give them a new heart and they will follow me again and they will make their homes here and grow crops here and buy land here and sell it. So live in hope, Jeremiah, live in hope. Hope, hope at last, hooray! And do you know what? Jerusalem was indeed conquered by the Babylonians and her people taken away as slaves. And do you know what else? Seventy years later, the grandchildren and great-grandchildren of these people returned to the land and rebuilt Jerusalem. And just as God had promised, land was bought and sold again. And what Jeremiah could only have hoped for came true. Hope! Oh. Hope oh. at last! Oh. Hooray! Hope is linked to trust. In today's story, Jeremiah trusted that God would bring his people back home one day and this gave him hope that even in difficult times, things would get better. In other places in the Bible, hope is described as being like an anchor, something that holds you steady when everything around you seems to be falling apart. It can be easy to lose hope when things seem to be going wrong. How can we find hope? 
Jeremiah found his hope in God. Let's take some quiet time to think about times in your own life when maybe things were difficult, but now there is hope. Now I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, you can say Amen or Amin at the end. That's a way of saying I agree that you want my prayer to be your prayer too. But you don't have to pray if you don't want to or you don't think you should. It's perfectly all right just to sit quietly and think about what you've heard today. Dear God, thank you that you gave Jeremiah hope in his horrible situation. Thank you that we can always look to you and trust you. Help us to look for that same hope too. Amen. been really great to share. Open the book with you today. See you again soon. I haven't stopped it. How have I not stopped it?